surprised to see Meister here uh, this deep in a tournament. No surprise for Beast either. He's been another huge force in this Wi-Fi tournament. He's changed. He's turned into a Wi-Fi player. It's, it's He's been doing it since the beginning of the pandemic. Oh, yeah. man. Every single Wi-Fi, every DNA, every fusion, every single Xeno that he had going on. And this is more than 32. This is winner's side top 24 now. This is even further in the bracket, as you can imagine. Both these wonderful players going at it right here. Meister, of course, representing Space Station Gaming, Beast, NPT, BBM. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Pokemon Stadium is the pick. Let's get to it. Yeah, and for Beast to beat uh, Meister here, you know, he's going to have to do what he'll, his crew alliance say, and that's oh, go, go beyond Beast mode. But right now, he's getting smoked, and you're going to see one of Beast's strategy if you're not super familiar with him. Uh, he's primarily a Charizard main on Wi-Fi. He plays, like, I'd say 90% Charizard uh, and about 5% of the other two Pokemon. So Mr. Game Watch, for the most part, is going to have a real easy time uh, at least racking up damage uh, on Charizard. So Beast is going to have to... He's already pretty comfortable playing from the back foot considering the circumstances, but, you know, right now it's, it's looking pretty rough for him. Mm -hmm. And to give you guys that fun fact, half the reason for that is that down air from Han High takes the stock. <clears throat> Beast was... In fact, a Poke, uh, not a Pokemon. A, a, he was a Charizard you know, main. He was a Charizard main in Smash 4. Thank you very much. Well, he was a Charizard. Char he, he played Charizard and Fox, primarily Fox, but he still played Charizard. He also played a lot of Mario back That's then true, as well. He and he also still does in this game, though not as often as he used to. He does primarily stick with the trainer, specifically the Charizard, who is just getting comboed to bits by this game and watch Meister even more aggressive than he normally is right now. Ooh. Up in the face, but getting caught swinging and kissing both corners of the blast zone right there. One of the lightest characters in this game for sure. Bottom five, I believe, in terms of his weight. The bare minimum bottom ten. Forward Smash going to cause him to kiss the corner of the Blast Zone right there, but beautiful DI from Meister is going to cause him to live. Almost lapping Beast in percent while he still sits pretty on his first stock, just getting the last narrow hit of that back air, man. He's taking advantage of Charizard's size to be even more aggressive with these up -B combos. Like, he hits him with one, and then when he misses the bomb, he just jumps forward and then immediately up again. You're not going to see it here as much. Is it higher percent? Wow. But instead, that side B is going to do it right there. Beast putting himself on the board. Yeah, but here comes Meister with the steel chair. Oh, my God. I guess a Meister able to uh, oh, end that. Cooking. You would see it, actually, with all those bacon hits. Right on Beast right there. My God, all up in the face. 61% already. This is looking a little rough. Yeah. Pairing a protein with vegetables. Very smart man. <laughs> Knows how to cook. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Palpano. Doesn't yeah. know how to cook. No. <laughs> Unfortunately. Palpano can't cook, Pit can't read. It's not looking good for him. Yeah, it's not looking good for our for our boys and girls up at Skyworld. That ain't where we're at right now. Game and watch out here. This is the oppression section, Whoa. Koopa. Honestly, every single time with that beautiful uh uh what what is the term I'm looking for? Forward tilt. Yeah, duh, not not even forward tilt. Did he um did he do that tech where you uh where you cancel your dash into the your dash into the walk? Did he do the dash walk there into that forward tilt or did he just cancel? My the screen lag the second, so it looked like he might have just canceled the forward tilt. Yeah, I think he might have just yeah, I think he might have just done the forward tilt to cancel the dash. What you can do in this game is comparative to most other Smash games. Beautiful stuff from Meister, my friend. Honestly, he never turned it off. Never no. turned it off. He's like, you are playing the biggest boy in the game. This is all this is doing for me, my friend, is this is, I don't care who you are. I don't care how good your Charizard is. This is putting you at a disadvantage in my eyes, my friend. I'm going to get this oppression session all up on you. I'll hit you with a nair. I'll hit you with my forward air. I'll hit you with my up air. And then once it combos into something else out of my uppy, guess what? I'll just land and I'll do another uppy. What are you going to do to avoid it? You're going to air dodge? I'll down air immediately out of my uppy and probably hit you with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's going to happen, man. I mean, hey, if there's any Charizard in the game who's going to be able to do it against a Game & Watch as amazing as Meister, it is definitely Beast. I'm very anxious to see what he pulls out of his hat, whether it's adaptation or a stage counter pick, sticking with the Charizard, or if he's going to go one of his secondaries. He is not. He does have a Zelda, and he, uh, he still does play Mario once in a blue moon. That's very rare nowadays, though, but... I don't mm -hmm. like the Pokemon trainer is sticking with it. Jeff Pushblock from Pushblock Gaming, thank you so much for the $25 donation. Helping us get to that $1,000 goal to help the hospitalized children here at Games for Love. We very much appreciate you and you're doing a Yes, thank you for your support and your donation. Good luck in the contest and good luck to Beast here going into game two against uh, Meister here. We're still in best of three territory in Judas. But if Meister wins this, he lynches and taking into the into the money. 
in the top 16. So, oh man, that is the money. The cutoff is the top 16 for this tournament. So at the very least, he will be guaranteed ten dollars on that front if he places if he places that 13th place. With that hey time. man, that's that, that's a that's a that's a 10 piece at McDonald's. Yeah, dude, definitely got like Timmy Turner's dad. Like, I made my son ten dollars richer badge. Or however that goes. I don't remember. It was his dad, ten dollars richer. I still have huge business. The matched ranger. What you know how it goes. All right. Yeah. <laughs> his first stock is gone already, all right? It's it's unfortunate for him. Yeah, man. Listen, this is the life you choose to commit yourself to when you play a big body against a character like Mr. Game and Watch that really kind of shuts you out in most aspects of the game. Is that a shield game very good? Um, his recovery is obviously very good, and he's got some gnarly kill power behind him, man. So it's not going to take much to just rack up damage and then have stocks melt away like that. The beast already in a hole, uh, down two stocks, and might just have sub 100. Honestly, man, the impression said, oh, no. Okay, yeah, that's. I guess that's at least one benefit of Charizard right there, being the heavy, heavy boy that he is, not dying off the top of the game to watch up, uh, up air right there, despite getting hit by every single bit of it. This is just where it's so rough, man. When you're this big of a character trying to get in, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this big brain gameplay that we are seeing going on right here. It's like a damn Falco in Melee, just like shine dare, shine dare, shine dare. No, up he dare, up he dare, up he dare, up he dare. He knows that Charizard being the big body that he is, it's just not as mobile of a character as, you know, as Beast would probably like him to be. So he knows as that up smash takes the stock. He knows that with the exception of just being so incredibly patient and just waiting for Meister to slip up by landing on the platform maybe where he's able to get up smashes like that. He knows that there's not much Beats can do to, at the very least, keep up with Game & Watch mobility-wise. This is where it gets so, so hard for Beast Koopa. Yeah, no, and especially at the, the depth that he's down at, you know, he's going to have to take some risks, and at this percent, you really can't. Now, granted, Charizard does have some tools to uh, to steal some stocks away in an alarmingly early percent. And against Mr. Game & Watch, again, character that's on the, uh, the, the top third of the game in regards to how heavy he is. Uh, or regardless of how light he is, you know, it's definitely not unheard of for Beast, but he's really got to play this one close. You see, Meister just go for the grab release. Um, that could have been disaster for Beast, but Meister already committed, and the keys to success, my friend, uh, is Meister will move on in a clip of 2-0 um, over Beast. And, yeah, that last game was just dominance, man. Sometimes you just, you just run into a wall. There's really not much you can do about it. You know, Meister, again, household name, top 10 player, uh, you know, offline uh, to get a great player uh, online as well. And, you know, kudos to him, you know, making moves here, moving along in uh, winner's bracket. And again, punches a ticket in the winner's side top 16. So, mm -hmm. and I got to say, man, uh, congratulations to you, Jordan Hicks, winning a $50 Gamer Subs GC. Let's go. Gift card. Oh, good stuff to you, my friend. That's a lot of good stuff you could buy on there, man. You'll be able to buy one of those hoodies. You'll be able to buy that uh, gamer fuel right there. And if you want, you'll be able to get that T-shirt as well. All the wonderful products that you have over there. Good stuff with winning the gamer subs products, my friends. But yeah, Beast, uh, you never got to see the Beast special <laughs> during that set. You, you know, and you know, all you Tri-State fiends, you know what I'm talking about. 